Today, I'm going to show you how to cut dovetails. Now, for this purpose, I'm going to make a draw. And the tools we're going to need are one of these, that's a cutting gauge. Not a marking gauge, it's a cutting gauge. And the difference is, instead of a spike coming through the end of it, there's a blade. And this will mark a finer line than a cutting gauge. Is what you need to set now. Dovetails, almost any joint is a cutting gauge. You'll also need a couple of sharp chisels. That'll be useful. A dovetail saw. There you go. Or a gentleman saw. Also a mallet or a heavy hammer. It will do you fine. Some white PBA glue, a sturdy vice and a band. Start off, we got a nice piece of mahogany for the draw front. We've got a piece of oak for the draw sides. We've got a bit of pine for the back. Now I'll mix the wood and it doesn't matter. Because quite often when you look inside an antique piece of furniture, they keep the quality wood for the front. A hardwood, hopefully, for the sides, because that will last a long time. And the cheap wood will be for the back, because it doesn't matter. So, we'll proceed with marking this out. Draw front that's there, and the cutting gauge. And you want to go about two-thirds the thickness of the draw front. So, there you go, it's about two-thirds. Take your cutting gauge off the back mark your line. Other side, mark your line. There you go. Take your draw sides. I've marked the front. That's the square edge there. Okay. Same again. Cutting gauge. Draw it down the front there. You've got a nice fine line there. There you go. Fantastic. That's something you can easily work with. Just make that a bit more defined at the top there. Right, that's the front. Cutting gauge again. The cheap pine on the back. Take your gauge. You've got the thickness of the back. Now go to the back of your draw sides. Mark the line. Mark the line. And now the thickness of the draw sides. Now I've pinned these two draw sides together and I've pre grooved them there. It makes it easier. Shoot your draw sides in all in one go. Don't do them separately. It's just, it's just a bit of time saving. It still looks neat. Now, set the cutting gauge up to the thickness of your draw sides. That's pretty good. Now, draw front on the inside. Drive down the line, that's where you're going to be cut into. Okay? Draw back. Do that both sides. Now marking out your dovetails. Take your draw side, a pencil. Mark, oh that's about three eighths of an inch down from each side, top and bottom. Now this is a small drawer so I'm only going to divide it into two dovetails. And I've got about three inches there, so we'll make them an inch and a half wide each. That's dovetails. Now take the back and line it up. You see that? Let's move this back a bit. The top of the groove there. And just put a little mark, pencil mark there. Where the top of the back comes. Now we're going to mark the back ones. So, in line with the middle, let's move that back. In the line with the middle of the front dovetail, come back, put a pencil mark there. 
do the same in the bottom one. And that's where we're going to cut our dovetails. Now, some people use a dovetail template. I don't think you'll very often find a professional cabinet maker using a dovetail template. They'll do it by eye. Now, the angles are, I believe, if it's softwood, one in five, if it's hardwood, one in seven. Uh, and as I say, I don't use a dovetail template. I just do it by eye. And uh, instead of using a hand saw, this next bit, I use the band saw. It's much quicker, and that's where we're going to go to next. Right, and the band saw. We'll just turn this on, and you can watch what I'm doing. <laughs> There you go, and that's the front dovetails cut, there's the rear cut, it's nice and easy with the band saw, it's always square, come through the back there, you don't have to worry too much about marking this out. Right, we're back to the bench now and we'll mark the rest out. Alright, back to the bench now, take your plane there like that, get your drawer front, Put it in the vise, take the draw side, line it up with the gauge line. There you go. Take the knife and pressing that in towards the tail, draw a line on the edge of your draw front. Right, so yeah. take the saw. And just come in a little bit off that line because you want to make these dovetails nice and tight when they go in. And just saw down. See that. 